Narcissists have no class. If I could sum up a narcissist in one video, this would be it. To put it bluntly, narcissists have no class. They are very insensitive. They feel no concern for your feelings. They are offensively impolite and bad-mannered. They act outside the boundaries of the lowest socially acceptable behaviour. It's surprising that they're not all in jail. But they know how to maintain their behaviour just to the edge of what people are willing to tolerate. When I say that narcissists have no class, I'm not saying that they lack wealth, success or style. Many narcissists appear stylish and sophisticated. Many narcissists may have money and success. But what separates them from the rest of us is their behaviours. If you have been in a relationship with a narcissist, you will know that the image they present to the world is very different to how they actually are. Their image is designed to manipulate you, to make you believe that they have class. When the reality is very different, they are actually some of the most unsophisticated people you could ever meet. But unless you are dealing with an overt narcissist, you won't know that unless you're in a relationship with them. Or unless you're a family member or friend. An argument or disagreement with a narcissist really reveals what's beneath the surface. They get very angry. They have no control over their emotions. They intentionally say and do things to hurt you. They want to make you feel uncomfortable because they lack class. They lack elegance and sophistication, which is why they desire it so greatly. Because it's something they do not have. So they put on a front. They create this facade this deceptive outward appearance. But beneath that is something that is very distasteful. Something that is very disagreeable and unpleasant. Which is what they try to hide from the world. Because they want to be seen as these good people. But if you were to repeat those same actions or if you did something that was minor in comparison. They would run their mouths to everyone you know. They would not protect your reputation. Because they lack social class, many of them are uneducated people. And they feel no shame at exposing you to everyone they know, because they have no humility and decency. They have no dignity or respect. A normal person would conduct behavior and an appearance that avoids impropriety and immodesty. They would be respectful and considerate enough to avoid putting you in a dangerous or harmful situation but these narcissists have no decency. They game for anything. They have no limits. There's nothing to measure what is inappropriate or indecent behavior. Which is why they always seem to take things to the extreme. Everything they do is so shocking and excessive. That's what separates them from the rest of us. 
because normal people have limits. They know when to stop. If you tell them you don't approve of something, they will check themselves. But with narcissists, there's no introspection. Which is why we often hear about narcissists stalking and harassing their targets. They fabricate stories to harm that person's reputation. They start smear campaigns. They put tracking devices on your car. They install surveillance cameras in your home. Because they're completely out of control. No one has ever gone to them and told them they're out of line. No one has told them they're behaving in a way that breaks the rules or is considered inappropriate. Or if they did, the narcissist would just cut them off. Because in their minds they can't do anything wrong. They're entitled to do whatever they want. Which is how they're able to go so far with it. Because there's nothing in their way. There's no stop signs. They think they're invincible. They think they can do whatever they want. But the reality is that everything they do only reveals that they have no class. It only reveals that they lack decency. Which is why you shouldn't want any parts in anything they're involved in. Because it's bad and it's wrong. The more time you spend around them, you will only find yourself picking up bad habits. You will only find yourself following their direction because they're so overbearing and overpowering. But in the end, they will only blame you while they continue to display their false image to the world. Because in their minds, they're always a victim of circumstance. But the reality is that a person who possesses these qualities, which attribute to having a certain level of class, isn't going to be so quick to point the finger at someone else. Which is why when all is said and done, and you look back at everything they've brought down on you, It should only confirm to you even more that you are dealing with someone who lacks decency. It should only confirm to you that you are dealing with someone who has no respect for you or for themselves. Because although people who have class may make mistakes, they're not so quick to shout it out to the world. They understand that not everyone is entitled to know about their personal lives. Because that's really what separates a person who has class and a person who doesn't. A person who has class understands that some things are meant to be kept private. You don't have to reveal your thoughts and feelings about everything you are experiencing. That's why our minds are our own. They're not meant to be shared with anyone else. That's why boundaries are so important. If you look at anyone who is engaged in any inappropriate behaviour, the odds are they probably lacked proper boundaries in their childhood. And when they did something wrong, they got away with it. Because that's really what causes a narcissist behaviour to continue. They're surrounded by other indecent people or people who are not willing to enforce the proper conduct.
They're surrounded by enablers. People who enable their behaviour to continue. When if you put that same narcissist around people who have class or people who are not afraid to enforce the rules, you could see a very different person. But because these narcissists think they can get away with it, their behaviour is only going to continue. Which is why you will see more and more shocking and excessive behaviour. Because there's nothing to keep them in line. There's no incentive for them to act right. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.